Good morning, OCC friends. This is Sonia at Sonia's Shoe Boxes. It is about 7.15 in the morning here in California. And today is my day that I volunteer at my local hospital. So I wanted to get this video out to you in case you need or wish to get any of the deals that I found yesterday at Walmart. So this is what I call my stepping out uh, video. Uh, I found some shoes, not as many as I would have liked to have found, uh, but I think the prices are good and you may want to go and take a look. Uh, my goal is to send more shoes next year for the older group. Uh, it's easy to find shoes to fit in that, you know, two to four uh, boxes for toddlers. And shoes take a lot of space for the older ones. So I'm trying to find shoes that are easy to pack, uh, soft in the sense of their, you know, leather shoes would take a lot of, you know, you can't, they, they're not bendable or they, you cannot squish them, smoosh them so much. So you understand what I'm trying to say. I know you do. So let's start. I found this um, flip-flops, men's flip-flops. They are a knockoff of the Fendi brand. They're called Andy. And I think they're good. They have a very thick sole, and they are the lenticular. And these were $3, so I found four pairs. I found the blue, and then I found them in red. So you may want to take a look at them. I bought, a size, I bought them in size nine. Uh, I tried to measure everything, the shoe size by my grandson's shoe size, which is larger than this, and looking at his age. So I ranged between an eight and a nine, tend to go for the nine better on the boys in case they have a wider foot. So this is my find, $3 each. I found this lady sneakers. They are in this colorful pinkish tie-dye color. Uh, they were $2. They had them in this color and I'm going to show you two other colors that I, that I found. Um, what I like about them is that they are nice and soft. They do have a thick uh, sole. Uh, they are comfort. They have this memory, memory foam, it says. So they are comfortable, hopefully. And what I also like about them is, should the shoe not fit in length, this is easy to cut off. Or they can, you know, these this are very easy. They can cut it off to look like a mule type of shoe or a clog. So kids do it here all the time. Uh, so I'm sure that they can, you know, that they would do it there too. But I think these are very pretty. And these were $2. So I bought two, four, one, two, three, four, five. I bought about eight pairs of this. Uh, the, most of the colors that they had were in this uh, uh, shaded pink, some blue, some, you know, color, which are very pretty. They'll go well with the leggings that I got the other day for a dollar. So I'm happy with this. Uh, and this was my favorite too, but they only have one pair. So you may, you may find them at your store, but I think that these are really, really cute. I like, the, I like the stripy ones. And then I found another pair, I think Sharon from East Coast. She also found this, I did the leopard. I had found a leopard, uh, this print about a week or so ago for also $2. So probably they had a, a shipment or they brought some boxes out. And, uh, but I paid for them. For this particular one, I paid three. So I guess they have come down in price. So these are the, the leopard one. I found this pair, which I really like, uh, for $5. Uh, it's a size three. So I would not put this in a five to nine, but I would put it in a, in a two to four. And if space permits, what I will also add is a pair of flip-flops, like a size uh, youth toddler, not youth toddler, like in a size nine ten. So this girl would have the flip-flops to wear now and the shoes to grow into. I hope this makes sense too. To you but I I think that these are very pretty and for five dollars I couldn't pass them down and you know they're, they're, they're uh, 
they didn't need to do their laces. My kids would have, my grandkids would have loved this. Uh, the laces, well, the shoes were always untied. So these are my $5 find on this very pretty pink, blue, and uh, shiny type uh, little shoe. For the girls, uh, these are not perhaps exciting as far as the color or the, you know, we like to get them a little bit, but this go very well with a pair of leggings that I found the other day that are gray and black. So uh, you'll see it next year when I pack these shoes with the, for a 10 to 14 year old girl. So these were $3. Then I found this other pair, the blues. I really like this. Uh, I love this color. Also very, will go very compliment well with the leggings I found the other day. So I bought two pairs of the blue and these were $5. So my prices up for shoes yesterday were between two and five. Um, I love, love, love this little type of shoes for, for, for children. They were $4. Uh, they only had two pairs in the size I was looking for, the 910. I didn't want to lose them because I really, th these are the cutest, cutest shoes. I love this for little girls to wear with even the, you know, shorts or skirts. I just, I just think they're very, very cute. And it's a nice close shoe, nicely made, $4. So you might want to, you know, see if you can find them if you're interested. Jellies. Somehow I think either my Walmarts, they either put them away to save them to sell next year, like they did many of the, much of the Easter, no, I'm sorry, yeah, the Easter supplies. I think that they must have stuck everything back into, into their warehouse. Uh, these were $3. $3, yes, they were $3. So I have two from Elsa, from Frozen, Elsa and Anna. And then I also found this other little pair, and this is a nine. Those are 10, this is a nine, and uh, they were $3. So I, I figured, don't wait, they're not gonna go any lower, at least not in my neighborhood, and why take the risk? So I got this. So this is my find for shoes. I think overall, I think I may have about less, less than $50 here, or maybe $53. I have, I have to look at the receipt with taxes and everything, but that was about, that was about that's about right. So, shoes and more shoes. Now, I showed you last week in another video the dresses, the little dresses that I found for $3. I went back in the hope that they would again go down in price. They're original for $96. They're still $3. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to uh, lose the opportunity of getting this little pink and you know lavender and pink and yellow butterflies so i think this is a very pretty dress so for three dollars it came home uh, then this other little dress also three dollars uh, i like the tie-dye love tie-dye you know little dresses for little girls so this one came home too and then of course who does not love hearts so right now I have this, the same dress that they're all in a 40, again for $3. So I bought the three dresses, I, I didn't want to wait. I, as a matter of fact, they had a lot in the two and three sizes, but 4T and 5Ts, they were, they were selling fast. So this is a 5T, I'm sorry. But then I got lucky on this other dress. Uh, they had tons of, four T's and five T's. And this were with the same brand, same original price, and these were a dollar. And I think that this is a cute little dress to do if you're doing a circus uh, theme or a rainbow theme. Uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, that we can do with, you know, for themes in these dresses. So after this, I bought, I bought three. I figure, you know, I, I'll make some identical or semi-identical boxes down the line. So this is like, 
I'm sorry, this, this is not a very neat video, but you know, this is what happens when we go shopping. We make a mess. I do. Okay, I'm happy to show this. I think the knees found similar ones or maybe the same one, but they are phone um, cases or little phone bags. It comes with a face mask and they were $2. Uh, only in this pattern, originally $7.97, so I paid $2. I bought two. I think that this would make, I'm thinking of a, of an art box. I'm using this uh, little uh, pouch for, I don't know, for some art supplies or some kind of an artist uh, shoulder, cross body uh, palette, uh, crayons brushes i'll think about it so this is again for next year most of the purchases or i should say all of the purchases that i'm doing now i'm saving for next year so uh there goes that i also found these headbands this art can be worn as face mask they can be worn as a head piece as a head dressing or as a headband as well they're originally uh 388 and they were $1.50. So if you're interested, they are in the latest section by the purses. This is where I found this. So I bought three sets. Now, my find of the day. I only found this that's coming up. Drum call. Drum roll, I'm sorry. Uh, I found this at one of my Walmarts, only the one Walmart. I want you to take a look. I hope you can see them. I don't want to take them out of the boxes. These are the cutest jelly. It reminds me of the G washes when they were so fashionable not too long ago. And they come in this very pretty travel case. Uh, I have a blue one here, look, or like a, yes, I would say a very, very minty, not a minty blue, but a, a, a light blue and you can see the the strap you know the the plastic strap but it does remind me of the g-wash that we all had at one time or another and uh, I, I have this color to show I have this other color to show this one I love 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 uh, this is not the jelly, but it is a uh, silicone band. So this is another good to show. And then uh, another jelly. And I'll tell you the price in a minute. I just want, I want to build the momentum, okay? And then a, another one of the same. And then a pink one. And this one has like a square, uh, like a square. This is a different style, but it's the same jelly type thing. Okay, this originally sell for $9.88, it says in the little box. I found them where the hats and, um, yeah, hats and accessories are for the ladies. And they were, they were just stashed in a, uh, on a bin. They had tons of them. I think I scanned more than 50 of them, uh, $9.88. Some were marked down to $5. Now, they were not on any clearance. There were no markings. So $9.88, I said, oh, I don't want to pay $9.88. So I started scanning them. And some scanned for $5. And I said, oh, huh, do I want to pay $5? Well, the six watches here, each scanned for $1. So if you would like to check your Walmarts, I hope that, I don't know if this is going to help you with the scanning. Sometimes what I do is that I take a picture of what I see in a video and I keep it on my phone and that's how I find the items. Sometimes the scanning does not work for me. So I don't know if you can scan it. That is going to help you at your local Walmart. But my somehow I have, you know, I, it works best for me when I take a picture. So I love these watches for a dollar. I'm planning again, this, I'm saving them for next year. Should the battery run off? I'll check again for battery next year. After paying a dollar, I don't mind paying five for a battery. Let's put it that way. I think it's going to be perfect. 
Uh, the little case is awfully cute. It has a handle and a zipper. And you can fit a lot of extra nice stuff in here. I, I'm thinking socks and underwear and uh, frilly stuff for the girls. This is, this, I'm gonna have fun filling this up. So, I hope this makes all sense to you. I hope you're able to find a bundle of good deals like this one, if you're interested in shoes. But oh, I would love you all to find the watches because they are so cute. And uh, I think that this will make the perfect wow gift. And you know, teenagers, we all, our, teen, our teens, my grandkids, forget it, whether they're eight, nine or 17 or 18, they only use their iPhone. And we know that in these countries, iPhone, and they're not options for these kids. And having a watch, I'm sure, is going to be something that they will appreciate, enjoy, and be useful to them and to their family. So my goal, like I said, shoes, and whenever I find watches, a watch it will be. Okay, friends, I got to go. Got to get ready to do my volunteering this morning. So I wish you well. Have a happy Thursday. And I, as always, ciao.